This piece is called Bus Ride for My Mother. I rode past 82nd Street yesterday. I was on the number 11 bus on Columbus Avenue. We lived in a brownstone on the southeast side of the street. My brother and I and our mom. Her bedroom was the first floor window. I wondered if the apartment was currently occupied. I was 12 years old. And we lived there for 12 years. A railroad apartment with seven rooms. It was a lot of fun then. And of course, we had a lot of experiences. I remember when my brother discovered a dead rat as big as a possum in the cabinet underneath the kitchen sink. He was about 15 years old then. You see, at first, you see, at first he didn't know if it was dead or just playing possum. And later he told people how he chased it, stomped it, and stabbed it two times before that big old rat possum was dead. But he and I both knew that it was the mouse trap that, was, that really killed him. And he went across the street to get somebody to take it out of the house. That thing scared him. It scared me too. He tried to get me to look at it underneath the sink, but no way, I couldn't do that. Shoot, the vision of that would have stayed with me for the rest of my entire life. He still remembers this, though, as it were yesterday. Mom, of course, appreciated that it was gone when she got home. Mom was real busy back then. She worked in retail for her bread and butter and also did what she loved most. <coughs> She was an actress, a show business gal. So there were actors always over for dinner parties or casual get-togethers. Roxy Roker, Ron O'Neill, Cleavon Little, Melba Moore, and Garrett Morris are a few names I can remember. Oh, they were stylish and elegant black folks. It was a period when black actors had a special unity about them. They ate together, partied together, rehearsed a role together. Mom was young and full of sophistication and expression, and really, she is still. 82nd Street makes me feel nostalgic because I remember sitting on the stoop with friends during the summer when TV wasn't enough. I remember going to the corner store for Mom, which is now a restaurant, for Cadbury's fruit and nut bar with the hope of getting four squares instead of two. I remember the man who lived across the street who would yell out his window, fourth floor, being a prisoner, saying he was a prisoner and, and hope that his ancestors would come and rescue him. My stop came and I got off the bus knowing that memories of those 12 years would always be a part of me and that it would always be safe to revisit those memories for as many times as I needed because it is the past that has made my future and the future shine so brightly like 82nd Street still does. Thank you.